elements of a citation. In the plagiarism tutorial, we looked at when and why to cite. Now let's look at the elements of a citation and how they change or don't change from one citation style to another. If you aren't sure what a style guide is, here's a simple definition. A style guide is a set of rules for the layout of your paper. In particular, they specify how to write out your references, also known as citations, so you'll know what information you need to include and how to format it depending on the resource used. Now, no matter what style you use, be aware that you'll be citing twice. First, a brief reference or number in the body of your paper, right when you quote or paraphrase your source. This is referred to as an in-text citation, parenthetical citation, footnote, or endnote. You'll also provide a complete citation at the end of your paper in your bibliography, also known as list of works cited or reference list. There are a number of popular style guides and they all cover a comprehensive array of material types. Click the gray Citation Guides link on the CAPU Library homepage to find more information about all these styles. For now though, let's just look at one style and one material type. For example, this is an in-text citation for a print book in MLA style. An MLA in-text citation consists of the author's last name and a page reference, unless you reference more than one book by the same author. The list of works cited contains more information and is formatted as you see here, with the title italicized and the second line indented. APA also uses in-text citations, but you have to include the publication year, which you didn't see in MLA style. The complete citation in the APA list of references has nearly the same elements as MLA, but as you can see, the formatting is a little different. So, what's the significance of all this? Simply that citation styles differ chiefly in terms of formatting and layout. You'll need to provide nearly all the same pieces of information to cite the same source, no matter which style you're using. So don't stress trying to memorize each style. Use a style guide instead to help you format your paper and answer all your how do I cite this source type of questions. At the end of the day, no matter how the elements are arranged, the point of a citation is discovery. You're giving your reader the information they need to track your source down and read it for him or herself, such as who wrote, edited, translated, and or published it, what the title is, and where and when it was published. One final note, the information needed to locate a source does differ depending on what type of material it is. For example, you don't need to know the name of the publisher for a journal article to track it down but you do need to know its volume and number. To find out exactly which bits of information are required, consult the official style guide or a high quality online guide such as you'll find on the OWL Purdue website. If you have any questions, you can get help at the library and in the CAPU Writing Center, or check out the library's cited guide. Call us, email, drop by, or chat with a librarian on the Provincial Askaway Reference Service. To find our help options, go to the help menu on the library homepage and click Ask a Librarian.